Hey, Junie, Rob. Shogun added another four awards to the 14 that the drama won at the Creative Arts Emmys last week. The Bear scored in those major categories but missed out on the big comedy honor. All in all, it's a golden night celebrating television excellence. And the Emmy goes to... No, must we? Must we really choose just one winner? You know, when all the nominees have done such <laughs> wonderful, hilarious work. X gets the Top Comedy Award. Thank Leading so, lady so much, Jean Jack. Smart wins her third Emmy for the role. It's very humbling, it really is, and I, I appreciate this because I, I just don't get enough attention. <laughs> Jeremy Allen White gets a second award for leading actor in The Bear. The show, based in Chicago, got four more Emmys last night, including Liza Colon Zayas. She's the first Latina to win in her category. Keep believing and vote. Vote for your rights. And it's a why, part of the Shogun sweep. This is to all the women who expect nothing and continue to be an example for everyone. Thank you so much. Chicago's Lamar Morris, honored for Fargo, gushing over a competitor he beat out. Robert Downey Jr., I got a poster of you in my house. Um, please sign it, seriously. Reunions of some TV gems of the past didn't quite pack a nostalgic punch. We both studied theater at Illinois State University. And nobody cares about that. <laughs> I also want to thank, it's going to be very silly, our dog. Uh, we had the most fantastic dog. We had to say goodbye to her. And uh, this is for all dogs. All dogs, you're all very good girls. You're very good boys. You all deserve a treat. Play me off now. Five-time Emmy winner Candace Bergen recalling when Vice President Dan Quayle assailed her TV character. Murphy Brown was pregnant, decided to raise her child as a single mom. Oh, how far we've come. <laughs> Today, a Republican candidate for vice president would never attack a woman for having kids. So, as they say, my work here is done. <laughs> Meow. Baby Reindeer, four big wins from an inspired creator. Take risks, push boundaries, explore the uncomfortable, dare to fail in order to achieve. Thank you so much for this award. Well, the producers now say they are sorry they tried to play John Oliver off when he was talking about his dog who had just died. The music was turned down when they realized what had happened to the pet. Now, some people noticed a lot of empty seats. Well, the Hollywood Reporter now says, uh, observers saw a number of stars slipping out to the bar. <laughs> Personally, a okay. little disappointed in the hosts. Now it's on to speculations over who will host the Oscars. Only murders in the building, the team of Steve and Marty and Selena getting lots of attention, and the rumors about Meryl Streep and Martin Short heating up after how cozy they looked last night. Oh. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.